Alright, I'm making a tutorial for my friend, trying to help him out with his Xbox. Alright, first you're going to want to come to the back here and unplug your Ethernet cable, your video cable, and your power cable. Okay. Alright, and before you move it, also remove the hard drive. Set that aside, that way it's not near any magnetic screwdrivers you may be using in this tutorial or anything like that. Okay. So now you're also going to want to unplug this. And uh, actually, I made a mistake. I need to plug my power back up and remove the disk from the drive. Yay, three red rings. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I disabled the one light. Now every time I uh, do that, I get the three red rings. Okay. Just unplug this here. And I'm going to go ahead and shut off the video, unplug this, and move it over to where I'm going to be working on it. Okay, so now we're going to be removing the face plate from the front of the Xbox. There you go. And you're just going to remove that over here. And, uh, as you can see, mine was sent back and they put a little warranty label over this. So, once again, we're going to avoid that. It's already been sent back once. We're going to avoid it. Okay. What you're going to need, you're going to need some sort of screwdriver. A Torx T8 uh, bit, which I'll show you what the bit looks like. a little blurry actually. Might be a little better. Looks just like this. Got a hole in the middle. That's what you're going to be needing. Alright. Also I found it a lot easier if you do have handy little uh, screwdrivers. Like the, the tiny little precision sets that you can get. And uh, you're going to need probably about four of these if you have them. If not then uh, you can, I'm sure you could find something else to work for when these are going to be used for. Alright, now we're going to start by removing the top gray piece here and the bottom gray piece here. And uh, let me get my screwdriver out and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're just going to use a little precision screwdriver here. And you set that down on the camera. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this or not. Ooh, camera almost fell. Okay. Inside, they're like right about here, and here, and here. There are little things holding this on, and you have to stick it through the hole, and, uh, let me see. It's probably going to be easier just to first you pull this one off. Alright, give me one second. Alright. Okay, so we've gotten this piece off. I'm just going to sit that aside over there. And I had to take the little piece of this off. 
four screwdrivers like I told you and you stick them in here and you push and you should hear a click and once you hear the click you know it's undone you, then you're going to want to lift up and keep popping them out while keeping while keeping force by like spreading this part and then get them all the way down here and then undo that one okay and so as you can see I got the back up now you're going to want to take your little screwdriver and stick one there. I peel back the sticker. Stick one here and get another one and stick one in there. And also one here. Okay, then you're just going to lift up, alright? Alright, now I've got them all popped out. Just like that. And now you're just going to lift up. Just like that. Now, I'm going to show you the screws that you're going to have to take out. Uh, actually, I don't remember, so I'm going to have to test and I'll show you afterwards, okay? Okay, so you're going to need to remove this screw here. Just take that out. This one here. Take that out. This one here. Take that out. This one at the back. This one here. And this one here. There's two screws in total that you're going to have to take out. Now what you need to do also, while we're here, is just go ahead and remove this. Take a little screwdriver here. And pop that off. Just like that, it fell on the floor. Okay. So you're going to remove that and just sit it over here with all the other parts. Also, if you want to remove this afterwards, you can too. It doesn't really matter. Well, for the disk drive you're swapping out, it's going to matter. But, um, yep. So pretty much now you just want to take the Xbox, flip it, flip it to where that metal shell is down now, and then just lift up. And then, once you lift up, it's going to look like this. And then, throw that over there with the other part. Here's the inside of an Xbox. This is what you're going to be removing. Uh, you've already removed pretty much everything that you uh, really need to remove to get this out. Except for this back here, which I'm going to show you in a second. Let me go ahead and lift this out. Okay. Now there's two cables in the back of your disk drive. There is the SATA cable and the power cable. You're just going to grab here, 
by the white, not the cords, by the white part. That way you don't rip the cords out of the back of this. And then this one here. And this one's normally hard to get off, so you just want to pop it out like that. Lift out the drive. And ta-da. And then basically what you're going to do when you're putting in the other drive is just sit it back in and plug those up. Then repeat the process of putting it back together. And that's about it. Alright, dude.